Hey guys, Zuljin here. Today I am on an experimental server that I've been working on a little bit. Um, a little while back I started thinking about what am I going to do with Hypermind. Not that it needed anything done to it specifically, but I've been, for a little while, I've been playing Minecraft for a long time, right? And I've never really experimented with any kind of server administration. Uh, outside of regular modded Minecraft or regular vanilla Minecraft. Uh, anytime that I've done anything outside of those realms um, or even within those realms, I've always depended on other people for lots of help. And this one's going to be no different, but I've been experimenting with Bucket. So I want to show you guys a little bit of what I've been working on for potentially what the next version of Hypermind will be. Now, the vanilla server, Hypercraft, is going to stay as is, you know. Um, in the future, there might be a map reset and stuff. We haven't really talked about that. But right now, the modded Minecraft server is a little stagnant. And over time, what I've been seeing is that uh, FTB kind of just dies out. The regular mod pack gets a little old. People stop playing. And, um, and we do a map reset with maybe another pack. And then it happens all over again and rinse and repeat. So I'm trying to add some longevity, and one of the biggest things that I've noticed with uh, modded Minecraft is typically it's all a race for tech. You know, people start building stuff, and they get all kinds of uh, abundant resources due to automation, and then it kind of just stops people max out, and then that's it. And after a little while, there's no challenge in building because the resources just become ridiculous. So. I've been playing around with the idea a while of generating interest in exploration and, um, you know, doing the old hunting thing. So this is the very preliminary work of what I might consider for the next Hypermind set. Now, we're doing a couple, uh, a number of things with bucket plugins right now. Uh, as you can see, well, it's already in my chat window. Um, some of the mods, well, some of the actual plugins aren't showing up, but the core of this server right now is set to Mythic Drops, uh, MCMMO, Magic, Infernal Mobs. So what happens with these different um, plugins is that Mythic Drops allow you to get potentially different kinds of drops from monsters that you might, might fight. Um, MCMMO is all about um, skill sets and things of that nature like um, actually gaining skills in mining or crafting or smelting and uh, swords and axes and stuff like that. Um, infernal mobs or the random chance that a mob that you fight will become an infernal mob. Now I don't want to go into creative to show all this off because I'm kind of enjoying the vanilla experience a little bit but I could show you what I do have. There's also some other plugins involved. Um, what you saw here a second ago, um, there's there's two things that are at play here. One is that gravel roads, which I set in a configuration for a travel plugin that I have, kind of extend your speed. So um, this is this is not sprinting. Okay, as soon as I hit gravel, I get a speed effect, <clears throat> and you can actually see that by by the um, the speed boost right here and I have it set to where um, anytime you walk over gravel you get the speed boost and it's gonna be good for traveling and making roads most of the time everybody just build nether portals and do a minecart system and uh, it kinda gets old having to take minecarts everywhere second um, the next thing I want to show you is that I have a shop plugin that's also set up so <clears throat> what shops allow you to do is pretty much put um, the word shop in brackets um, followed by a quantity followed by the number of um, I guess currency units that you want to sell an item so basically if I do let's just build a um, let's just build a chest right here and I'll show you what I'm talking about and I realize it's kind of sporadic <clears throat> how this is um, coming into play but so there's already a chest here but if we just put a chest right here let's say okay and we put a sign now it can't be on it it has to be in front of it so let's label it bracket shop bracket and we're gonna say 
um, one item and we're gonna say uh, five currency units which are right now emeralds I don't have another kind of economy in and I think I'm gonna leave it as emeralds um, we hit done okay so now it creates a shop alright so now what I want to do is I want to sell stone pickaxes so I can hit the sign with the stone pickaxe and it loads the stone pickaxe into the shop now you can actually load stone pickaxes into the shop the shop and when people come along if they right click on this sign and they have five emeralds in their um, on their person they will buy that pickaxe and when it's bought the pickaxes get taken out of this inventory and the emeralds get dropped into that inventory so it's actually a really really cool system um, I was hoping that there would be a little bit more versatility for admin shops because right now with mythic drops there's something really really hard to obtain and that is what's known as um, the identify tomes now identify tomes take an eye of ender and three books which is really expensive I played around with the plugin a little bit and I thought about changing up the recipe but I'm not too sure it seems to just be um, really complicated uh, at the beginning to get them you can also get them from mob drops so uh, I might just play around with the drop rates and actually make that into something that you just have to hunt for but uh, as you move along you get these ident unidentified items now this is a fishing pole so I didn't want to waste um, that off camera but I'll show you guys basically what it is so we can't buy from this because this is our own shop but I'll go ahead and pull an identify tome out and when you put an identify tome into your hand and right click it it tells you use identify tomes with an unidentified item to identify it and then you right click on it you get the identified item now um, you'll see a number of different things on here first of all it's a fishing pole so <laughs> you don't get any kind of real base damage off of it the only base damage you get on anything I believe are picks axes and swords and bows um, so this has unbreaking flame to fire protection punch to feather falling three knockback two. so a ton of things that really don't affect uh, the fishing rods performance but it's an item um, the other thing is sockets now sockets come in a different variety of things and they can add things like potion effects and stuff like that to all your items so it's actually pretty interesting some of the combinations you could be now just like every other game I realize that this is a ridiculous set of, of statistics on a fishing pole and there's some things that I can configure but for the most part you're going to find trash loot and you're gonna waste identify tomes on trash loot at times it's supposed to be like that because not everything can be like this godly drop what it's supposed to do is leaf players the idea that if I go adventuring <clears throat> I could get some epic loot and that's <clears throat> that's kinda what I want another thing is uh, with lone wolf's help we've also started using MCPC plus which is kind of like a combination of forge and bucket put together so we'll that's why I'm using um, as you'll see voxel map at the top right corner of the screen you'll be able to use um, client-side mods and with the ability to use server-side mods when they work together well with the plugins that we have so there's still a ton of co configuration left but the last thing we have is um, I believe it's a um, oh let me see the name of it Lorenz mobs is what I was thinking of um, Lorenz mobs or a um, let's see how can I put this it's a mob plugin that allows for distance based leveling from spawn on mobs so this is this is the spawn section okay and if I go to fight let's see I think I just saw a skeleton around here I'll show you what I'm talking about yeah there's a skeleton so well you can't actually see he should be coming out now yeah see level 7 skeleton um, also I'm using an RPG health mod as you saw the hearts above his name but um, he was level 7 okay and he took a specific amount of hits from my iron sword which does plus 6 attack damage if I go let's say two or three hundred blocks away from spawn 
that level 7 skeleton would have probably been level 11 or level 12, which would have mean he'd have did, uh, had more health and done more damage. So, ideally, these things are going to give bonuses on the way that loot is calculated, and I can figure out what's going on. So I just gained the level, and as you can see, I just had remaining um, experience points on the side. Oh, look, there's a there's a mythic drop now. I realize I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to explain everything to you guys. So I just got his drop, and that was either an emerald in his hand or a socket because some of them look the same. I'm thinking about changing the economy, but I'm not sure. So that is a socket gem. It's called Berserker. So if I have something with a socket like this, um, this, <laughs> this cord that I found, um, I mean this uh, fishing pole that I found, I can socket it if it's, if it's, um, if it's the right kind of thing. So I right click on the socket and then let me right click the pole and I successfully socketed the item. That's because they were the same color. So now you can see all the way at the bottom increases damage resistance and output for 1.0 seconds. So those socket gems will give you the ability to add all kind of customization to the weapons that you find and they can be found um, through the drops just like the actual items that you can find. Just like that fishing pole that I had found that was unidentified. So, um, another plugin that we have is UCARS. Now, I'm not sure about keeping this. I thought about maybe adding Townie, and Townie lets players create their own towns, and kind of like what you would consider, um, um, what's the name of that, uh, that, that mod with all the villagers and stuff. Um, <laughs> now it, 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 I draw a blank on it, but... It's uh, it's basically a town generation mod that you could be a mayor and you can hire people to do things and they'll build buildings and expand and more things come available for you as you um, as your town develops. So it's pretty cool. They have some shop stuff in there. I don't know if I'm going to be adding that, but um, if there is any kind of thing like that where players need to move around from area to area pretty fast. Uh, these courts will do it. Now, it says you place the car. Cars can be driven with similar controls of a horse. And it's that's pretty much correct. If I right click on this, I don't need track or anything. I can just go wherever. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. It, um, it's a little bit faster than running on gravel. It's also capable of going up one block at a time. So, it has some cool effects and it's the ability to travel from place to place. I mean, naturally, you could build nether tunnels and stuff, but let's just face it, guys. We've been doing that for a long time. It's just time for something a little bit different. Um, and I think that's all the plugins that I, that I wanted to talk about. The only thing that I really need from you guys is that, I guess, just a little bit of feedback. This is both for people that um, are playing on the server right now as an experiment. Nobody's on right now, but it's early in the morning. Um, and also you guys that watch, you know, what are some of the things that you'd like to see? What are some of the things that you'd like to see implemented? Now, um, like I said, Forge mods will be available, like we'll do some sort of mod pack in addition to this. This is just like the core mod mechanics I'm working on right now for plugins, but um, adventure-based mods that y'all know about that would add cool effects to the game and really make it an immersive experience for both the viewer and the player. I'd like your feedback on it. If y'all know anything like that, or y'all have any ideas, I've gotten a couple of submissions from some of the other guys, and um, I just, I, I guess I'd like y'all feedback because it's been a little while since I've done any sort of LP, and um, I really want to make this fun. Like when I play, when I want to, when I play on this server, I want to have a good time, and I'm also considering after a testing phase to sort of open this up on a much larger whitelisted base. Um, this is not set in stone, but if this kind of thing goes into, um, if we can get this thing perfected right, I would like to be able to start running a much larger whitelist on this server, not the modded server, not the vanilla server, on this server specifically, because I think larger groups of interaction would be cool, and there would be a couple of neat things that we can do with a very large player base for economy. And when I say very large, I mean probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 50, uh, 50 slots. Um, so right now, the max that we have is like 30 um, on the whitelisted servers that we have. And it would be... Um, 
it would be probably a potential strain on the current machine that we have now with that many people so that's something that I would probably change but um, uh, again it's just thoughts you know it would be a whitelisted server and it would be invite only but there's a ton of people that I want to start playing with and some cool things like that implemented would um, what I think make would, would make a good experience so I know I've rambled on for a little while guys I guess I just want your feedback um, and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below sorry it's been a little while since I put out a video I've been really busy with this project and CobbleCon and and a couple other things in real life unfortunately so um, when you guys get a moment just uh, check it out um, and um, yeah I appreciate it thank y'all so much for watching as always this is Uljin Sun and all have a good one